We are the orphans of Ragnaraka. As Fenrisulfur the wolf approached, the goddess Freya banished our forefathers to this forgotten land, so they might escape the foretold destruction of Midgarda. That was seven generations ago. Here, every day is a struggle to survive. The gods are dead. And we are outcasts in this harsh land called Jornheimer, Iron Home. And we are not, it's only, prisoners. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back. It's been, uh, it's been a little bit of a pause between vacation and uh, some work things, but we're going to revisit the adventures of Knut Holgersson using the Iron Sworn uh, rule set. When we left our hero Knut, he had just been in a uh, rather fierce battle with a mysterious woman who looked like he had the upper hand for a bit and then who handed Canute his backside. And we were at the... He had just entered the town of Oldensborg. Having found out that the, uh, the Volva, the Cirrus, that he is looking for, is not there. She has gone off to try to settle an upcoming battle or prevent an upcoming battle with another clan or city or family. And Knut had just gotten in. He wants to go after her, but he is just broken in every way. Uh, he, he's, he's injured and exhausted, and he's lost all of his goods. So the first thing he's going to have to do, just to, he's he's gonna he's going to rest. He's going to call on the local the local lord and uh, try to uh, get. He's going to try to sojourn. He's trying to uh, find a place to rest and recover. So he makes his way to the great house of Jarl Badvar Hrodgerson, uh, who is the um, the leader. He's the Jarl of Odensburg, and in this land that makes him pretty powerful. He doesn't necessarily want to speak with him directly just yet, but he is going to uh, approach his uh, his house servants, his house guard, the Chamberlain equ equivalent, and still trying to keep keep his uh, keep his bearing, even though he's bloodied and soaked and uh, destitute looking. Well, he's not destitute looking, but he has no pack, he has no provisions. He's going to approach the 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 great hall of Odensborg and announce himself. I am Knut Holgersson, Fain. I call upon your hospitality. I've been waylaid out just outside your city gates and barely survived. And the Huskarl, uh, uh, a large man, let's see, I think he was on here. Yes, Cole the Hazardous. He is a uh, He's he's the he's the 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 Jarl's man, a big burly guy, steps up and addresses Knut Olgerson. I don't know if I've heard of that name. I am Cole the Hazardous, and I am the Jarl's hand here. Have your peace and move on. You look like a beggar. Knut raises his brow and says, Is this the kind of hospitality that Odensburg, the shining jewel of Jarnheimer, offers its thanes? I don't care of your thanes. I care only of serving the Jarl. He is the, will be the true king one day. I do not wish a quarrel with you, friend. I was waylaid. I merely wish 
hospitality and rest. So he is going to go for a sojourn. He's going to try for a heart, which is not his best hit, or is not his best thing. Uh, we'll see if he decides to, to try to push the I'm a Thane thing. All right, let's... Oh, okay. All right, so... Oh, that rolled out of... Yeah, don't worry. I, I'll soon be getting, like, a, a, a better desk, I, I hope, so that I can have a, a little more room to put my cameras around. Um, I'm going to go over to my assets. Okay, when you sojourn and score a weak hit or miss, you may claim the rights of hospitality. All right, well, being nice, being nice didn't uh, didn't help. So he's uh, Canute steps forward and he says, "I am son of Holgar." I am Canute, and I am a Thane, and I demand that you acknowledge my lineage and my heritage, and demand that you repay this off the the suffering, the work that my family has done for this realm, or something like that. And so, okay, so let's see. He's so he's going to claim his right of hospitality. He's going to roll the dice again now. He's going to get a plus one, but if it misses, that's going to cause an issue. Okay. Three, four, five. Not quite enough, but it does. Okay, so he does get a, uh, he does get a weak. He gets a weak hit. So, Cole... Says, well, if you're going to be so insistent, he kind of looks him up and down, and he can he can tell. I mean, Canute walks the walk, and he talks the talk. He's a he's a veteran warrior, and there's a chance that Cole does actually remember, uh, if not Canute himself, at least his father, Holger. So on a weak hit. All right, you spend time in community seeking assistance, roll plus heart. Okay, if you share a bond, which it doesn't, strong hit, may, uh, may choose two from the categories below. On a weak hit, choose one. If you... Okay. On a hit, you and your allies may each focus on one of your chosen recover actions and roll... Plus heart again. Okay, so basically he's going to try to going to try to push it or not. Hmm. Right. So I don't think I don't think we're going to I don't think he's going to try to push it. He's uh, he doesn't want to get <laughs> thrown out, and he doesn't really want to come off as being a blowhard or ungrateful or anything like that. So his action, let's see, I think he's going to go for health. He's going to grant himself two health. And as he's re, uh, as he's recuperating and they're uh, f feeding him meals, and uh, he talks about because that's what travelers do. They want to, you know people want to know what what happened, what happened. Uh, so he. He doesn't go into a lot of detail, but he does talk about how he pulled his son from these haunted ruins and um, how the and coming here to uh, find out uh, to talk to the Volva because the Volva of his settlement told him to. And he talks about he does talk about being attacked and um, on on the bridge by this strange woman with uh you know this with uh, with incredible strength and how it looked like she flew away and some people some people buy it some people 
kind of shake their head, but they're all listening because he talks. He does talk about how the the travel is through the 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 passes that he came and things like that, and what's going on in the region around um, Elder Watch. So he he finds uh, he he's given a place on the floor to sleep, and uh, so he he rests. He's just gonna rest as he's just. So I don't want to do you know just try to do a whole bunch of sojourning rolls in a row. Uh, he he was going to try to gather some information. I think um, he wants to find out about the uh, about the the Volva. And I thought I'd written her name down. Maybe I did not. Let me make a name. All right, I'm. I'm sure I wrote it down somewhere, and I bet I'll probably find it uh, later on. <laughs> but uh, I decided to add her on the the Volva Randvig uh, sweet daughter or suit daughter, and I'm going to go update the location. And diplomatic mission. I'll say something economic. It's uh, we'll say it's a, the the local fields where they have uh, used gathered uh, this flower, this purplish flower, to make a type of wool that they that they sell that the yarl especially sells makes money off of uh, apparently his the supply has run short either it was overpicked or um, there was some kind of blight or gophers or who knows uh, Cole doesn't know exactly but the vulva has been sent up north to this village and let's uh, let's see what that village is. We'll we'll go ahead and we'll put it on the map here. Because I have a feeling we're probably going to head that way. Let's see. So the settlement. 97 Springtide. Okay, well that Springtide sounds like a reasonable place for... Right, let's see. I said north, but I'm using my my handy game master assistant cards here. They have this little arrow on it. Well, that one's not going to work. Okay. Just because it's convenient, I think I will use the, the descriptor for this other stuff just that we don't need all the details right now but uh i do like spring tide because he's going she's going there for flowers okay and it's flooded large crystal i don't know about that okay territory dispute uh oh that was didn't mean to redo that I went ahead and added all the information for Springtide. So Cole explains to him that she's gone to Springtide and it's actually to the southwest. 
to gather th these flowers uh, and that whole area part of the reason that they were having a had to send her was because there's a big uh, fight over who's actually in charge there so she she was she was sent to try to to peacefully work things out if it were me if I were the girl I would have just sent the well I just have sent me in to settle it ha 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 and uh so Cole uh, continues on talking the rest of the night, and then um, he is—he's given a uh, not Cole, but uh, Canute. And like I said, is given a corner, so he rests and gathers the information. Um, the next day, he is uh, approached by Jarl. Uh, Bodvar, who wakes up, who wakes up early in the morning and uh, sort of uh, sits at his throne while the servants uh, prepare his meal, and he motions to uh, he he sees Canute stirring and looking over his way, and he motions him over, and so Canute comes and he makes proper obeisance, which is you know not not bowing and scraping, but uh, uh, he gives him a uh, he gives him a a, 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 sh a short a, a bow and thank you, thank you, y'all, for your hospitality. Tell me more of this battle you had. And he uh, motions one of the serving people to bring a a seat up next to his Yarl's throne. And invites Canute to sit. Canute go uh, goes and um, tells tells the story again about everything that he saw. He's he's kind of uh, he doesn't go too much into her trying to get him to quit his quest because he doesn't want to give anything away. In part that and. Partly because he doesn't really understand what's going on. He just knows he's supposed to talk to the Volva. And so you're supposed to talk to Ranvig? What is she supposed to tell you? I don't know, Jarl. The Volva in my uh, village told me to come talk to her to, to try to figure out how to lift the curse of Axe Watch. Let's see. And so he's going to. I'm going to use this as a, another sojourn role. He's going to. He's going to talk, and he's going to try to get uh, the jarl's aid in, or, or his permission to stay there and rest up. Ugh. All right. Well, whatever. I'll go for go for brokes. That would be a that'd be a bad fail if I didn't take it because he's only got one heart. So I'm going to go again for his. Uh, he's going to call upon his. He's going to demand hospitality based on his lineage. And I hope this works because if he pisses off the jarl, that's going to go bad. Okay. Whew, barely. Barely, barely. Well, I... What what good are you to me? You want to take up the time from my... my servants and you want to eat my food? You are welcome to rest. But... if you have no place to stay here, that is no concern of mine. Again, I call upon the name of my father, Holga, who has fought... For this realm, who helped this, who helped Odensborg extend its reach by driving back the Vetter and the spirits, fighting off the elves and the trolls, and that works to get him another uh, another role. But 
it's going to lead to a complication. We'll see what that complication is. Yeah, he needs some. He needs some supplies. This would definitely be a uh, probably one of the good times for one of those. If you want me to help you, you got to help me kind of quest. So let us consult the oracle. Eighty four. Follow. Yeah, follow twelve. Follow fear. Follow fear. So he's got to follow something fearful. Or he's got to face something fearful anyway. Let's see. Let me look on the profile here, see if the Jarl. Okay, well, if he's vengeful, and he's the type of guy who wants a, this uh, status quo at all costs. All right, so I think uh, he's the authoritarian leader. He's he's the he's the trouble. It, it's obvious that the Jarl does not put up with uh, much back talk, and he rules. With an iron, with an iron fist, an iron gauntlet, and he says, "If you wish to stay here, if you wish to take this time, the valuable time of my vulva, then I have a a job for you. Nearby is a place, a haunted place. It has remained quiet, and we stay from there." But my scouts have reported strange activity. I will let you rest, and you can use, you can earn your name, you can strengthen your name, Knut Holgersen, by resting, getting your strength back, sharpening your swords, and go tell me more about this place. I will leave, I will leave my servant Cole to give you the details. But... I would have your oath if you would stay here. Let's see. Yeah, Canute doesn't really have much choice because he doesn't really, he doesn't really feel like he's in a position to where he can go much, much further without any, you know, without any kind of resting. Um, so he's going to. And it would be good to have it would be good to have an ally in the Jarl, or at least to have a reputation in Odensborg. So he will vow, I will vow. Okay, I'm going to pause and roll up the vow. Alright, so I'm going to use the this little printout I had from the Delve stuff. The name format. I'm going to name the place so that he can he can make the vow. So 55. Place of description and detail. Okay, one. Okay, so it's a barrow. 45. Okay, so it's the crypt of description in detail. So it's the crypt of gray sadness. That doesn't sound like a that doesn't sound like a happy place. Crypt of Gray Sadness. So we'll come over to our vows. And he wants to see what is haunting. He wants him to get to the center of this, this barrow. Already, because he has the Jarl's permission... Uh, 
I'm not going to bother making a bunch of sojourn rolls and, and whatnot. I, I'm pretty much, I'm just going to uh, give him, I'm going to give him what he needs. Uh, maybe not, I, I'm just going to give him an automatic plus two to his health and plus two to his supply. Because there's there's no point in rolling. He's got the he's got the blessings of the big guy. So Canute spends a couple of days gathering supplies, re replenishing uh, what he lost on the battle at the bridge, with the Jarl's you know, permission, obviously. And he does sharpen his sax, and he does sharpen his spear, his father's spear, uh, Hildar. And he makes ready to head on. Now let me put that. Let's see. Um, I'm not sure I really need to put that on there. But I guess I will. All right, so I set that up, and I put that on the map. And we're going to we're going to make it a journey. Uh, he's traveling to the crypt of gray sadness. So that's what I've set on the journey there. Um, what was, what was missed is the fact that, um, I rolled and he failed his first undergo a journey roll with a six, six. So it was, uh, it was an extra double and what, so as he's setting up like his first night out of, uh, out of the area, out of the environs of Odin's board, he sets up and he is, a bear comes through and in, into his camp and is just rampaging. It's huge. And he's half asleep. He doesn't, he, so he runs, he grabs his, he grabs what he can and he runs. And the result of the pay the price was it costs resources. So we're going to give him a hit on his supply equal to the uh, oh, well, let's see. What is the journey? Yeah. Uh, I just recorded it. I forgot what it was. Um, okay, dangerous. All right, so yeah, two points. And he doesn't even see what kind of site he might have been around. He he's the the bear is running, and he manages to basically grab his his shield, his cloak, his you know his important stuff, but his some of his rations and some of his uh, camping supplies are left to the ravages of this rather angry but large bear. Mm. All right, so now we'll we'll try that again as he as the sun breaks and he re regathers uh, his wits and gets his bearings. Okay, well at least he made a minor hit. Good grief! I saw that I saw my one come up and thought a bear was just going to follow him around, but he did not. Uh, on a weak hit, you wake up. Uh, see, mark progress, but suffer one supply. Okay. I'm not going to say there's anything interesting here just yet. Mostly because I just don't want to roll it. All right. Okay, so dice are not going not going great. So an, another super another super bad fail failure for Canute, who's apparently feeling his age 
uh, as the world presses in about him. Let's see how he pays the price with another. So that's like two in a row, so definitely something needs to happen. That's two double plus ungoods in a row. So pay the price with a 60. It is harmful. So that bear did follow him. That bear did follow him. And he's going to have to fight it. He's going to have to fight it. So as he's setting up again, this time he's... Uh, he tries to be a little more cautious about setting his stuff up, is about setting his camp up, but he apparently was not, and there's apparently something in his sack that this bear really wants. And so he's going to take, I mean, really, just... So the bear, the bear rushes out, and before Canute can even get his stuff ready, the bear has... Um, or, or Canute has has run through trying to find a, a position. He ends up running through some brambles and falling down uh, and, and hurting himself before he can get into position where he's got his, his spear and his shield ready. But the bear is now bearing, bearing down on him. So we're going to enter the fray. With a big giant bear. All right, and the veteran's assets. Okay, that's if he burns momentum. And he sided. Not going to do much there. Now his and he doesn't have momentum at all. Good grief. So he's just not. This adventure is not going his way. So we're going to fight the bear. This is going to be an enter the fray move. Ha! All right. So finally, 666. Things are turning around. Knut got a strong hit, and he gets his plus two momentum. That will be helpful. And he has initiative. So he's just going to he's just gonna charge in. He screams at the bear, because now he's starting to get pissed, because thinking about this bear. He knows it's the same bear. It's, it's got to be the same bear. This thing's been following him. And so he's going to attack with Hildur. And Spear is probably the best thing to fight a bear with anyway. Okay, strong hit. Plus one and... Yeah, strike. Strong hit, inflict plus one harm and you retain initiative. One, two, three. Oof. And there's formidable. So he manages to get a good stab in at the bear, and the bear is rearing up. It's going to enter the fray, or not enter the fray. It's going to strike again. Oh, God bless it. So I believe. You miss your attack, you must pay the price. The foe has initiative. Let's see what the pay the price is. With a fail. Normally I just uh, just do the hits, but with the pay the price. 94. Or with a miss miss. Sometimes I roll on that. It forces you to act against your best intentions.
All right, I don't really see that, so I'm just going to I'm just going to take the hit. I think that's going to it's going to be a suffer harm move. Endure harm. So he stabs the bear, and the bear just comes down and mauls him. Suffer hell is equal to full rage as appropriate. He's formidable, so that's minus three. And on a strong hit, okay. Oh, and minus one momentum, because I'm down to zero. And now I'm going to take make this iron, or no, roll plus health or plus iron, whichever is greater. All right. God bless America. On a miss, you also suffer minus one momentum. If it you are at zero health, you must mark wounded or maimed or roll on the following table. All right, so. Minus two, one for being hit. And then one for that result. Maimed, wounded, or roll on the following table. Now it's kind of early on, but I think Knut's going to try to roll on the following table. And I don't know why, because the dice have not been particularly kind to Knut so far. Thirty-nine. You are reeling and fighting to stay conscious. If you engage in any vigorous activities, such as running or fighting, before taking a breather, roll on this table again. All right, well, Canoe's going to try to run because his face is gone and he can't do anything today. So, 82, battered but still standing. All right, we're, we're done. We're done with this bear. Canute is, uh, he, he goes up a tree. He climbs a tree while the bear is clawing and roaring. And he's got his spear just trying to keep the bear stuck there and the bear can goes and ravages the rest of his supplies so Canute is now exactly where he was before zero health zero supply um, before he started this this quest which he took so that he wouldn't be at zero health and zero supply and finally the bear goes away the bear gets bored of tearing up Canute's belongings and eating the rest of his rations uh, and just shredding the new pack that he had gotten from town and then the bear goes on uh, seeing that Canute was not going to come down from the tree the bear goes on and Canute rests as best as he can in the tree until he thinks the uh, the bear is gone which is a long time, and then he goes and tries to find some other place. So we'll go to our next. Now he's got to go. Uh, he he needs to do a heal. He needs to try to. Uh, he he needs to try to heal and resupply. He can't he he can't carry on like this. So the first thing is going to be a heal. Which one is that? He's not really the best at healing. Okay, it's right there. I scrolled by it probably five times. Oh, and I also realized I forgot to roll for the Take the Iron Vow. I'm not going to retroactively do anything because it probably would just kill him today. <laughs> All right. So when you treat an injury or ailment, roll plus wits. If you're mending your own, roll wits or iron, whichever is lower. Okay, so... Uh, 
on a strong hit. All right, well, let's see. Come on. Can you pull it out there? Can you heal yourself? All right. Good, good. All right, so that's a strong hit. Your care is helpful. And two health. All right, so he manages to find some nearby brutes that uh, he remembers, uh, that, that he knows are helpful, and he turns them into a poultice and wraps up these uh, these scars and scratches. Uh, his ribs are still hurt from where the bear slammed him to the ground. And now he's going to try to resupply. Because he's got to... He's got to... New Hunter Forage, roll for wits. Right. Okay, so that's a weak hit. Plus, take up to one supply, but minus one momentum for each. Hmm. Alright, well his momentum is pretty crappy right now anyway. It's not going to do him much good. And he's got to carry on, so... He's going to spend the day foraging for food. He sets a couple of traps, gets a nice pair of conies, and cooks them up. Always on with his with his spear, spear he'll live nearby, waiting for that uh, Thor damned bear to come back. Oh, so I have to give that props. Because bears really are pretty mean, you know, and that's yeah, you know, they they really are formidable. Uh, so they, they're. I wouldn't want to fight one, even with a spear. And we'll call that about all he can do for now for the camp. So now it's time for him to see see if he can see if he can go again. See if he can move somewhere. Because I mean, he hasn't he hasn't hardly made any progress on this journey. All right, good. A strong hit. Strong hit. You reach a waypoint. Make good. Okay, mark progress. Or I can get one momentum and suffer one supply. Jeez, I don't know. I think I need my supplies, so I'm just going to mark progress. And why not? Let's let's roll up a waypoint. We'll see where he manages to find some rest, as, or as he as he sits down for the night. A shadowy. That doesn't even sound good at all. Ninety six shadowy woods. Okay, so he manages to find a, a shadowy woods. He hopes he can set up, he sets up a place where he hopes the bear is not going to follow. And he's going to try to, after he's taken his journey, he's going, the next day he's going to try to heal himself again. His, his, his aches, his aches and pains are getting worse. Okay, so that's a weak hit. On heal. I suffer one supply. All right. Well, he's hmm, okay. In that case, he's he's going to spend one supply to increase his health. So he's he's using up his his medicines, what he collected, those things that were were good last time. He's he's using them. He wraps himself up. And he takes a rest, and now he's going to head on for the next leg. He's got one one supply left, so once he gets there, he'll probably have to spend a day looking for stuff. Undertake a journey roll. Five. Okay, strong hit. Mark progress. 
Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to waste my supply for the next roll, so I'll just mark progress. Yeah, he needs at least to try one more. All right, so he's traveled, and he's going to spend the next day. He's going to try uh, resupplying. So he spends the. Uh, he he gets a good rest. He hasn't heard anything from that bear, but he, not an iron vow, but he vows that he will kill that bear, someday for what he did to him. Or he ponders, is it really a curse? Maybe that is Odin telling him that his quest is foolish and he should cry off. Those are the thoughts he ponders as he seeks to forage and set traps. Alright, so... As he's out foraging, that bear comes back. That bear comes back. That, that, that's 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 the only thing. That that bear is going to haunt him until he takes care of it, or it kills him, which it came pretty close to doing last time. Yeah. So he's Canute <laughs> uh, is uh, a little ticked off. So it just into the fray. Leave me alone, bear. All right, into the fray. Three, four, five. What's a fray? He is. It's not shadow, so that would be heart, I guess. Actually, the bear. Now with that, yeah, I guess the bear would ambush him. So once again, he's he's trying to gather something, and he looks, he finds that. One of his snares has half of a rabbit in it. And as he's looking, he hears the, the roar and the rustle behind him. And the bear comes charging out. So, I guess that would be wits. I, mm, that seems kind of cheesy. See, it would be the ambush because he rolled a 99. But in this case... Um, I don't know, because in this case it it would be, but it he gets a he gets a he'll do a succeed if he does if he uses wits. That's a strong hit because his wits is two. Eh, screw it. You know what? He's had he's had enough problem with this bear. So like I said, he the bear ambushes him, but he's ready to go. He gets a strong hit. He gets plus two mo uh, momentum, and he takes initiative. And he's still fighting that bear. And I'm going to leave the bear wounded because it's only been a day or two and he hasn't had any uh, healing. And he did have some rest, so I'll take I'll take one back. And he's just going to charge in. Canute charges forward, jabbing his spear at the bear's face. Okay, strong hit. Inflict plus one harm and retain initiative. So one, two, and three. So, good hit. He's angry. He's tired of this bear, and it's time for this bear to go away. And he's a big bear. He's a tough bear. He's probably going to have to name him. All right. The bear roars, but Canute is there, ready to jab Hildur into his face. Okay, so it's so a weak hit. Enter the fray. Oops, not enter the fray moves. And that's going to give him. Yeah, inflict harm and lose the initiative. That's what I thought, so. That's one, two, and he loses the initiative, so his next move is going to be a 
that clash. So he jabs the bear, the bear swats back his side, just comes down at him. Okay. So it's a weak hit. On a weak hit, inflict your harm, but then pay the price. The foe still has initiative. Okay, so he manages to get the bear, uh, manages to get that bear stabbed again, drives it in, drives his spear pretty deep, but he has to pay the price. Hopefully the bear doesn't like fall on him and crush him. 74. Okay, it is stressful. All right, so he, he jabs the spear into the bear's side, but that bear is right next just he bats him down and he's getting he's like ma is right in his face screaming and he's um he the bear just looks enraged and canute um maybe wets himself a little as this bear is crawling on him so it's uh stressful that's going to go against his spirit and as formidable, that's going to be three. So he, that bear, did not like that. So Canute, Canute uh, got scared. He got scared of the bear. That's going to put a put us back into combat. Let's see. Okay, I guess he's just gonna go. I, I'm kind of I'm kind of scared to try anything uh, funny or uh, or too bold and decisive. Turn the tide once per fight. You risk it all. You may steal initiative from your foe to make a move, but not a progress move. When you do, add plus one, take plus one momentum on a hit. I, I guess he's he's going to try to turn the tide. I, I'm not sure if I've actually used this move before. Alright, so I'm going to guess that's iron. Since that's what he is. Okay, so he's going to steal. He steals the initiative. And I guess he's got to keep the initiative to be able to do that move. So he's going to steal the initiative and then make a strike. Okay, six, seven. All right, I rolled the wrong one there, but okay, that was almost a really great hit. Oh, actually, no, it was a great hit because plus one, so it's actually seven. So he got so Canute got a ten, and he gets plus one momentum. So that actually turned out to be uh, good. And since that was a strike, that fills that last bear. So his next, he, he's his next attack. He jabs the he he jabs the bear with the spear and drives the bear back. And the bear raises up on his head. And as he does that, Canute drops his uh, or gets a, a two-handed grip on his spear. And just screams, ah! And he's going to try to end the fight. All right, seven and five. So he dra he jabs his spear up into the bear's neck and just keeps going. And, and the bear is screaming and threatening to break the spear half, but he but Canute sticks in and he just pushes the bear forward. And he top the bear topples over backwards bellowing and roaring and Canute draws his sacks uh, just just waiting but the bear is mortally wounded the bear you can tell the bear is looking at him with these angry eyes as, as his lifeblood is flowing out and the bear he, he gets up once or twice makes some aborted attempts to charge but just falls again and makes the, the spear uh, lodges it even deeper until finally the bear gives up and he just 
He's laying on his side, breathing and gurgling heavily until he finally passes. And Canute gets his spear and he spits on the bear. I will have your skin. And so he's going to actually he actually didn't get hurt that time. So he's going to gather he, he's he's gonna stop and he's gonna skin the bear. He's gonna skin the bear. He's going to stay in camp long enough to do what he needs to get it, maybe not fully cured, but at least something that he so that he can uh, start working on it. And we're going to give that, we're going to call that a supply. Okay. All right, so he doesn't, he, he manages to get Actually, the air prepped. I'm not going to bother with the roll. That, that's one of the things that I sometimes suffer with is that you know, it's like everything has to be a roll. But no, he, he's got a dead bear. He skins the bear, and he grabs himself a, 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 good, a good bit of meat. So just because it's there already, I'm just going to call that an automatic supply. going to enjoy it success. because this bear has been hunt, hunting him all the way through. He finally turned the tables on the bear. And he's going to instead. What I will have him do a roll for is he's going to try to heal. Well, let's see. Can you heal spirit? Let me look that up. All right, that's what I was looking for. Make camp. All right. So as he he sets up a camp, he tries to um, he sets up a lean to using trees and stuff. Since the bear keeps tearing all of his has has torn all of his things apart, but he makes camp and he. Uh, enjoys his meal he enjoys the you know the the fight uh that he won the fight so he's going to make camp roll plus supply oh okay well i'm glad i'm glad so that's a strong hit with supply and a strong hit may each choose two one spirit, one spirit. Considering he's going to a place called the Gray Sadness, uh, he he instead he 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 instead sings songs as he is skinning and eating this bear. So he's going to use two to increase his spirit. Because there's no talent he'll find there. So he makes camp, and he rests, and then he <laughs> tries to carry on again. I just don't even know what to say. I would have the bear come back. Maybe it's a bear's mate. I just don't even want to do with that. The surprising development complicates your quest. I'm going to say that it is... likely that it's that bear. 50-50. 50% the bear has a mate who's looking for the bear. 51 or higher. 95. All right. As the as Canute is uh, packs up and heads on, he hears another bear roaring in the woods. And that bear is heading his way. He can hear him getting closer. So Canute, he's going to. I oh, know. I guess he's gonna. He's going to try to. You know, he's gonna try to hide. He's just gonna try to hide. And what would that be? I think that would be a face danger, or secure an advantage. 
So he just he just failed, so I guess that's going to be a face danger. So he's going to try to he's going to try to get up into a tree and get into a position where he can just stab at this bear. Uh, but he's doing it because as he's climbing up the tree, the bear comes barreling through. He's going to realize that he can't get up the tree, so he's going to face the danger, I think, instead with... Uh... Oh, no, that would be... Now, he, he tried to climb up the tree, so that would be Edge, I would say. No, either way, it's a weak hit. You succeed, but face a troublesome cost. Uh, let's see. One momentum, one harm. All right, we'll say he had to... That in order to get up the tree, he had to... Uh, leave his pack on the ground. It's not ruined or necessarily anything yet, but by the time it gets stepped on and everything, it'll be at minus one. And the bear is now at the base of the tree. So I'm not sure if I should run this like a standard combat or not. I don't know. What what we will do is we will end with Knut Holgersen being treed by a large angry bear whom he has killed its mate and is actually uh, got his is, is the skin from that bear is on the ground at the bottom of the tree so the bear sniffs it and is enraged even more and starts clawing at the tree. And we'll, we'll stop there, uh, and we will, it'll give me time to figure out how to, if I should run that like a regular combat, or maybe using a series of face the dangers and whatnot. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, adventure, where he has barely made it through. Thank you, Thank you Omen.